morning. We are going to do some mask making today. Well, I don't know if we are. I am. <laughs> I am going to. I don't know about you. Oh my God. Oh, I remember. I was like, what is this book? It's German. Oh, I remember she sent it to me. I have a whole book, but I'm not going to use that. Yeah, that's me. What I want to use is like book pages, you know, some, some book pages that do have writing on them, more or less. And I'm just going to figure out how many I'm going to use. I know. I could have done it prior or whatever, but we do it together, right? So we must make it together means we'll prepare our stuff or I will prepare mine. And I'm going to make clusters with um, flowers. I sell them in my Etsy store and um, I have so many book pages and all of this shipping paper and God knows what, you know, so... I need to oh I need to do something about it let's see I don't know that might be enough or maybe not who knows I'm thinking about making as many as I can because yesterday I've been fussy cutting and yeah there is a whole bunch of the brown stuff shipping paper that I always get and it's just not possible to do all of it and I fussy cut a lot of flowers and um, oh, let me see if I can see this is a printable oh oh no I don't know if I can see you guys can I see what this printable is from please show me uh, 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 flowers I think it was flowers Lona Taylor Okay, I'm trying to find it on my, yeah, I don't know if I say her name right or not, but yeah, this is what I'm using, those are the principles, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be wrapping pieces, what I do is always kind of wrap and see. I'll rip and see. And this shipping paper, yes. This I'm gonna rip off like this first. And then I will just take a piece of card, oh, card stuff, book page. And then I'll rip a piece of shipping paper to go on top. You know? And just like that. I do not. Um, distress or do anything about it and then I find a flower that fits on top and that's like my first one you know and then I just continue I rip and if this anybody see my ruler right here there is a lot of ripping involved <laughs> a lot of ripping but whatever okay today is what is today I think today is Wednesday I'm considering calling in today for my um what is it called inpatient inpatient intense intensive treatment because my fiber has been bad and I'm in pain and um last time she said Oh, we, we will be watching um, a three-hour video or something like that. And I do not feel good. So to me, sitting there and watching a three-hour video will probably not be good today. So I tried to tell her, you know, I'm having troubles watching for three. They give us a break every hour. We get a break for like 10 minutes. But um, it's not enough for me every hour. If I have a flare-up, that's definitely not enough for me. So I need like breaks every, I don't know, half an hour at least. So um, she 
I'm not blaming her, so this is not blame or something. I understand that people do not understand my condition if they don't have the condition. So she said, are you going to be fine? You know, and I thought, I didn't say much, but I know I'm not because we have watched videos before, like a one hour video, and it's hard for me. I sit there for three hours already, right? So whenever we have a session, it's three hours. Uh, yeah. And then we sit for an hour, and, but we talk and we move or I move, you know, I can put my head here. I can put my head there. I, you know, I turn around I move in the chair, but when the lights are off and we, we are watching a movie, there is not much movement. Okay. Um, and then I will be in so much pain in my neck and my everywhere. I, I just can't. And, um, yeah. I, I don't know. I could probably ask her for like a half an hour break every time. But then, I don't know. I I would have to stand in the hallway, which I cannot do. I have to sit down somewhere and, you know, just sit in a different position and move around and walk around a little bit. And um, if you leave, like in the hallway, there's no chairs or anything. And if you leave the um building then somebody has to let you in i cannot come back in because it's locked so i cannot just do it i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do truthfully i don't know i don't want to miss a session but i'm i'm kind of having a hard time doing some stuff okay this is very big but it's pretty. Oh, I should count one, two, three. This is four. Two more for this and then more. So yeah, I don't know. See, I'm keeping these because they are still usable, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. If I'm going to call in or if I'm going to go and just suffer through it. But I truly don't see a reason to suffer. I don't want to suffer and I think this is understandable that I don't want to suffer even though I want to know what's in the video I wish I could just watch it by myself at home truly I wish I knew what it was and then I can watch it by myself at home and learn something from it and um, I never watch even one show in one sitting like not even half an hour I get up and move around every 15 minutes probably if I watch something. So, that's, don't know. Do not know yet. And it's hard because I don't like to. I don't want to explain why. You know, when I call in, I'll have to give an explanation. And I don't want to explain all of this because I know that people don't understand. But... Also, I don't want to lie and like, you know, I was thinking maybe you should just say something different, you know, like it's easier to say, oh, I have a stomach bug. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's easier to say that than to explain your fiber situation. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and toss all of the little ones, even though I don't like it very much. But, you know, this one, I think it's better. Yeah. So. We'll see how that goes. What I decide. I still have hours and hours to make a decision. So that'll be. I'm wondering if I should just take my other ruler because it makes like a better edge. But I don't know now. Yeah. So that's what I do when I make the snippets here. First, I coffee dye. Um, fussy cut coffee dye. Yeah, I did coffee dyeing already today, by the way. It's on my morning routine. I'm working on my routine. I told you that, right? Like I have seven things a day. Yesterday I told my therapist it was six, but it turns out it's seven. So I lied without knowing that I lied because I wasn't thinking. So yeah, however, seven things a day that I want to accomplish, which I must say doesn't really work out the whole time. <laughs> it doesn't work out the whole time. But I'm trying my best to accomplish, let's say it this way. And um, 
Now I also want to have like a routine in the morning doing certain things, L just little things. So for now, I'm having, I wrote down for myself coffee dye paper, which I mostly have done anyways every day, well, at least once. So that's I want to do in the mornings. It's nice in the mornings now, like, you know, not hot. So I want to do this in the mornings. Oh, I could also use this one. Huh, I probably have enough there too. Okay. This is four, this is five. And yeah, I can totally use this. So this way, less waste. Well, this wouldn't be waste. I will still keep it and do something else with that. But this way it's better. More better. More better. Yeah. And yeah, my other routine is just wipe the counters. I'm not able to do it in the evening. You know, I would prefer to wipe the counters, kitchen counters in the evening. But the evenings are just... I'm too tired to do anything. If I survive till the evening, then uh, there is nothing I do anymore. Most of the time. I'm just, you know, waiting to go to bed. If I have survived that far, <laughs> I just want to go to bed. So that's why I wipe the counters and I will see how it goes. My usual self wants to do more and thinks that's not enough to be a good person. If that makes any sense to you. It's not enough to be a good person to just do those seven things and those two routines in the morning. You need to do more. If you don't do more, you're not a good person. That's my brain telling me that. You know, but I'm trying to not to listen to my brain and just do whatever I can do which is not that easy most of the time but yeah we'll see how it goes i'll keep you informed i'm trying to find like flowers that fit i fussy cut so many flowers yesterday as you can see all of them i fussy cut yesterday actually so. fussy cutting is my form of meditation when i fussy cut I relax and then it hurts my it hurts my neck it hurts my fingers but I'm I'm still actually relaxing when I'm fussy cutting I think I did it a little wider because I wanted the wider one to fit and I think that's working okay yeah so working on that going to therapy once a week going to this outpatient program three times a week Still taking care of dogs, cooking, doing stuff, packaging orders and this and that. And it's just, it's overwhelming. I spoke to my husband yesterday and said, you know, my plate is full. My plate is just full. And he was like, what can we take off your plate? And I appreciate that because, you know, he wants to help. He would do anything I ask him to do. But... All I want truly is just a bigger plate. That's what I want. I don't want stuff taken out of my plate or off my plate. I want to have a bigger plate. That's what I want. Okay, so we do one more and then see how it goes from there. How much time is left for me to do anything. I'm just looking. Yep, this one is the last one that has something, some writing on it. Because I don't want to sit there. Well, I would. <laughs> I need to get up and move around a little. First of all, second thing, you cannot watch as many hours as I'm going to be working on this. So, yeah. But this is an easy way to use up your book pages, which we all have a ton of. And probably all of us order from Amazon and have all this packaging paper. I'm assuming. Okay, that's just an assumption. But like I said, a lot of times, not a lot of times, all the time there is shipping paper in my dog's food. So, 
I gotta do something with that, right? Um, I make shipping paper ruffles. I told you that, right? For my for my Etsy store. I started right away. I started collecting the shipping paper way before I started my store or, you know, anything at all. So, <laughs> because I, I was just reluctant to toss it. How can you toss that much pretty papers, right? That many pretty papers. Because it's brown paper. It's pretty. It's, I don't know. I want to keep it. I didn't know what I'm going to do with that, but it turned out... I, I opened the store. <laughs> so a lot of times, you know, just keep collecting whatever you're collecting. That's what I'm saying. Just keep collecting whatever you are collecting because one day you will need it. <laughs> one, two, three, four. What? One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to be six. And then, oh, I think I used up a lot of the shipping paper already. I'm just going to go here so I don't disturb everything. And then I'm just going to... I think I'm going to rip it in thirds here. If possible in any way. Good thing, nothing has to be straight. Nothing has to be perfect. You know, just rip, rip it somehow. Just somehow in some way. And down. Down you go. There you go. And I'm so good, see? I, I'm putting everything, like throwing stuff away right away. Who is this? Who is this person? Hmm? Who is this person? I do not know her. <laughs> Now I covered my flowers up with that. It's hard to take a flower because, you know, they are all very delicate. Very delicate flowers, yay. Okay. I was talking to my husband yesterday. I was telling him that I, I, I've been having a lot of um, nightmares lately. And having nightmares is a symptom of PTSD. And I told him that. And he was like, well, I used to have nightmares whenever I, you know, was having a big test or something. So I was stressed out and I, I would have nightmares. And <laughs> I told him, bingo, <laughs> because you were stressed out. And PTSD is post-traumatic stress disorder you know he was kind of dismissing it like no it's not a symptom or whatever <laughs> so I was like yeah makes sense because it's stress disorder you know <laughs> he doesn't understand mental illness and you know I cannot blame him or say he is a bad person or whatever because no matter what he doesn't understand it but it doesn't mean that he in any way tries to um, stop me from getting better or trying to get better or whatever. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, go to your treatment. Yeah, go to your classes. Yeah. You know, he never says, oh, why do you waste money on your therapy? You know, there's no such thing as a mental health disorder or whatever. No. He's still supportive in his own way. He just doesn't understand. And it's a little sad. <laughs> to me, it's, I wish he would. I really do wish he would understand. But um, yeah, he doesn't. And it's, it is what it is. Okay, let's, let's do the three packs first and then see what happens. Okay, how about that? So what I'm going to do is I'm just always going to take one. And however I did it here, I'm just making a little dot here because I'm going to be connecting them anyways in a different way. 
and then I'm going to glue the flower there. I think that's the most annoying part for me. This is something I don't like to do, you know. I love making stuff for my store. Everything I make is like giving me joy, right? I'm, I'm enjoying this. So basically, it's work and it's hard, but also it's joy. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I love it because it's joy, because I enjoy it. I would have done different things too to to make you know to contribute to my family but i'm just very lucky that i can do this and this way contribute does it make sense but i don't why i'm saying all of this is because i don't enjoy gluing this flowers down just because they intricate and and, and, and i don't see very well I don't see very well and then I have to put glue all over them there so okay. Brownie and Luna were playing the whole morning I wanted to come on here earlier you know I kind of felt like doing it ever since I woke up oops see I can't hold this but then those two were playing and like just going off like crazy so I thought, no, <laughs> that's going to be way too loud. Because sometimes, you know, they bark at each other or whatever. Most of the time, they just kind of pretend sneeze, I guess. But super loud, like... <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, I figured, okay. I'm going to wait till they're done. And guess what? They were done and both of them just passed out on the floor. On the tiles in the kitchen. I guess they got hot and exhausted. I'm like, all righty, this is my window. This is where I go play. You played, now I go play. So I get here. I still want to do, oh, I want to do a lot of things. Now it's like, I, I'm, I'm so grateful for it. I'm just, I'm just so grateful for it because I want to do things. You know, I see things and I have ideas and I want to try and I want to do this and I want to do that for a long time there. And I, I told you this many times already for all this month, even though I would come on here, it was more of a trying to not to give up, you know, just trying to keep myself sane and do something, just do something. I tried to shift my focus and do something, but I did not really enjoy most of the time in my room. I didn't enjoy anything. I didn't really feel like doing it. It felt more like a chore, but you were all here and you kind of brought me through it. You helped me so much. So I did say thank you before, but I'm going to say it again very very grateful for that for having people here that's very grateful for the whole thing here my youtube channel saved my life many times and if i say saved my life i mean it literally yeah so sometimes i want to go do something bad to myself and then i go to my room I wish this will stop and I'm working on it to stop. It's not fun to just, you know, be doing your stuff and whatever and then get a thought about ending everything and think that it's a good thought. Make sense? And I'm not complaining or anything. You know, it's just, for me, it's a matter of fact. For me, it's just how my life goes. And the only fear that I have is that one of those days I will just do it because of the thought and because I am too, too weak to withstand or whatever, you know, just like an impulse. It's weird, weird to describe. However, 
now I have been here enjoying this for about I don't know how long do you think what has it been two weeks three weeks something like that I've been really enjoying everything here there was no um, kind of forcing myself but also when I didn't have the creativity still yet I still have been enjoying it and I would just come on here with you and um, try to clean up a little bit and you know and that I enjoyed just have a little chat this never has been a channel that like teaches you stuff <laughs> I said this before I don't do tutorials no really <laughs> tutorials I don't know I love watching people that have their stuff together <laughs> And can do tutorials like pow 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 and they are done and you know everything is good I cannot do that but this has always been my my therapy channel yeah at the beginning I didn't know that this is gonna wor work out this way you know whenever I started my channel many years ago how, how long has it been six seven years ago my husband wanted me to have something to do, like I, I was very, very bad. I didn't have anything to contribute. I was in a very bad place with my um, depression, very bad place. I think I've since then I've never been in the same bad place. Thank God, and I don't wish it on anybody. And um, he's he actually he thought I'm gonna be like a big youtuber maybe I could make money on YouTube he said you know there, there's there's money to make I can have an income so that's how it started out you know like do something first of all take my mind off so I'm not depressed and have the feeling that I'm contributing so I do remember my very first five dollars that I earned on YouTube I was delighted back then it was like I was watching the money a little bit but I don't do anymore it's been a while it's a long time that I stopped and I'm that's not my main focus even though still I must say the views sometimes do bother me like that I don't have many views only not because of fame or money or whatever only because it makes me feel like I am not good enough, you know. Like a lot of people um, kind of measure themselves on, on social media. You know, if you post something and you don't get enough likes, I'm not on social media. Well, I am on Facebook for my group and very rarely do I go there. But, oops, that's not true. Where are you going? One, two, three four five okay there's an extra one yeah but I measure myself here on views sometimes I'm working on it for years to like let it go and the times in between where I don't care have gotten longer and longer so that's progress but sometimes it just is hard so you know if I say only a hundred people are watching what you're doing and you see other crafters have like thousands and thousands of views you think mm, I'm not good enough you know because I'm not as good as the other crafters I must be doing something wrong and then all these thoughts in your brain I hope you understand me I hope you don't think that I'm not grateful for the 100 or 50 or 20 or whatever. You know, one person is enough to keep me going. But I hope you, you understand what I mean when I say that. It is just what it is. It's like the checklist that I have when I do stuff for my household, right? If I don't check off everything and I checked off only 5 and not 10... Then I feel, oh, I'm not good enough. It's same like with Etsy store. Same thing. It's good and bad because if my income is lower this month, oh, 
I'm a failure. It's, it's bad. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I just didn't didn't manage to deal with it in a good way yet. But I will. Like I said, the breaks in between me thinking about it have gotten much longer. And that's progress, right? It's, you know, I really didn't expect ever to, for those thoughts to just magically stop. <laughs> but having them less and less, it's perfect. So that's what we're working towards, or I do. I work towards this, that one day, maybe these thoughts are going to be just once a year. And then maybe it's going to be just once every two years. I don't have that many years to live anymore. So we better hurry up. <laughs> we need to hurry up, you know. I made it. I made a joke to my friend Nicole, and I hope she didn't mis misunderstand that. <laughs> you know, it was her birthday. <laughs> it's me. It's my kind of humor that brings me in trouble. My husband says sometimes, oh my God, why would you say that? But this is just me. But I, I, I think she did understand. I, I told her to enjoy her birthday because she doesn't have that many more left. <laughs> because she was... I don't want to say her age. She's a little older than me. Not much older, but a little, a couple of years older than me. <laughs> so, I I thought it was funny. And I just, I just hope that she thought it was funny. I told her to enjoy it because there's not too many more left. <laughs> but it truly there isn't, right? I'm 44 years old. So what? Maybe I have 40 more. Not, you know, it's not that many. If you look at it like 40 times you go out to eat or 40 presents, that's not that many. 40 times somebody tells you have a birthday, not that many. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hopefully she knew what I mean as well. Okay, so now let me get my tiny attacher here because next thing I do with these is, see, I didn't glue them, but I will just... And most of the time, I prefer to grab both pieces of paper underneath, and I will just do that. And they will still will stay loose, you see, but they will not fall apart because they are connected. Does it make sense? I hope so. Oh, I think I should have put the numbers on them first. See, I don't know anymore what I'm doing. I'm going to do this and then with the next one, I'm going to get to the numbers. And let's see, I must have, I must have enough numbers there. Let's see. There must be, I had a full jar of numbers one at one point. I think I put them all in here. I think I did not. Who has seen my jar? Oh no, I know where it was. It was not in a jar anymore. Ha! Oh. See, I put them here. Yeah. Because this was and it was easier. This is easier to, to do. So I'm just going to glue numbers. And I do make those numbers for my store as well. And whenever I make them, I have more than enough. So I make for myself. Doop. And... This way, things are kind of there already. I don't know if that makes sense. And then, oh, I should have paid attention. Is it always a different flower in there? I need to double check whenever I'm done. Whenever I'm done, I will double check if it's always a different flower because I don't want to have two flowers of the same, two of the same flowers in the same pack. Because I'm going to put them on that, see. I don't need that many for myself, for sure. So, I made three packs. I think they can go. Okay. And some of the numbers are shorter. And I'm going to put them aside. Because, you know, sometimes the piece of paper, the leftover piece of paper is shorter. So, I 
I make sure the numbers. I don't waste the piece of paper. <laughs> Am I weird? I don't know. Every recycled piece to me is like, yay, I did it. I'm going to glue this one here so it keeps the paper as well down here. Okay, let's see if these are all different flowers. I think so. All different. All different. Yes, they are all different flowers. And I think I sell them in a pack of four or six. We will see later. Okay, let's see. You know what? That was actually pretty good with the... It worked out very well. So I'm just going to continue with this first. Doop and doop. Oh, this way I can see right away if this are, those are different flowers all over here. Okay. I have three different flowers. That's definitely different than the others, I will say. I have four different, five, six. Okay, everything's different. All right. All right. Everybody was different. So shorter number, shorter number, longer number. So I still did not take my mats this morning. It's 9.30 now. But my um, the nurse practitioner said I can take them later in the mornings because usually I do not have any problems in the mornings. So I'm trying to move them. To farther in the day I have been having problems between like three and five I get really anxious I don't know what's going on that's been going on for about a week now maybe yeah about a week and um, I'm thinking it's also because I eat lunch and after lunch you know my esophagus and everything is weird and yeah maybe maybe that's that oh did i tell you i don't even know they canceled yeah i told you that so they canceled my appointment with the swallow study and then the same day my husband's cardiologist called in and he called you know my husband he had his surgery right so he has to be monitored and he had to be seen three months after the last appointment. So we made an appointment three months in advance. You know, it was three months in advance that I want to put a little bit here just because there's a big space. Um, so we made the appointment a day before this appointment a month ago. They called and said, oh, he's not going to be in office. Can we reschedule? And they spoke to my husband. So he said, sure, let's reschedule. Oh, we'll see you in a month, which makes it four months. He's supposed to be seen after three months, right? Remember that. Yesterday, today was his appointment. Yesterday they called and they were like, oh, the doctor is not going to be in the office. Can we reschedule? I'm like, what's the first available? In a month. I was like, nope, we cannot do that. Because then it's going to be five months. And he needs to be seen after three months. So what's going on? You know, you're a schedule, you're a schedule, you're a schedule. That's not right. It's heart patients. It's not like, I don't know. It's probably important too, but it's not like having something little a massage done you know what i mean so um i feel like it's less important to see me for my fibromyalgia than to see a heart patient that just had a big very big and dangerous heart surgery so come on boys and girls and she was like yeah i understand your concern but blah 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 and i say no he does not need an hour or two of doctor's time. He did labs twice now because last time he did labs, nobody checked them and you moved the appointment. Now he did labs again and nobody checked them. I We need to know if the medication he takes seven pills. Is it effective? 
Is it not effective? Is his because his blood pressure is still not low? Um, do we need to do something? So I told her he needs like ten to fifteen minutes, ten minutes of the doctor's time to look at his labs and tell him, "Oh, everything looks fine. Keep taking your medication," or. Oh, your blood pressure is too high. Maybe we should adjust your medication because, you know, after having a heart attack and a quadruple bypass and a mitral valve replacement, maybe you should pay attention to cholesterol and blood pressure and, you know, if the medications are working or not working or, you know, what do we do? And guess what? All of a sudden, she could squeeze him in next week. I'm like, thank you. They always have like free spots. They, the doctors are always quicker, I think, than whatever they put there. I don't know. Because for me, whenever I schedule an appointment online, it says appointment length 20 minutes. The doctor sees me in out five minutes. Where do the other 15 minutes go? You know, use the 15 minutes and use them for emergency patients to see. Do I make sense? I think I'm ranting really bad. I'm sorry, but it happened. And I didn't like that. Okay, look, we made them all. I just need to double check if all of these are different flowers as well. Yes, they are. And they are really cute. I'm in luck. So I think they are cute. With the exception of the whole fussy cutting, which takes hours. It really took me all day to, f well, I fussy cut more flowers. But the fussy cutting is the hardest part. The making of them is not that hard and it's fun and it's, you know, quick and easy and <clears throat> it's good. But the fussy cutting, oh, oh, oh. but I made three packs. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? They are all pretty. Just gonna take them apart a little bit. Like that. Because I'm gonna make a picture anyways. You know what? I'm mixing them up anyways. So I'm gonna take a picture to put a thumbnail. <laughs> because I do need the thumbnail for the video. So let's do it this way. How about that? Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. It was not too, too long. 42 minutes, I think, or 43. I think it's still okay. You know, we'll probably do some more of these sometime in a month, two or three or whatever. But for now, there is that. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys are healthy and happy. And thank you for listening to my ranting. <laughs> I see you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.